what's up everybody what's going on hey y'all hey so you know when mama source come through i'm coming through with the word y'all this libra that got her scales tipped to the furthest fucking point that it will ever tip i don't went the fuck off in this bitch do you hear me at my job yes i did i am one of them people i am integrity is at the core of who you are is integrity I work for a company that I work with money. I work with social security numbers. I work with personal information, basically. So it seems like to me, I, if you know, <clears throat> I went over to this new position where I'm learning different things. So I'm learning. I'm still learning. It takes a while, but I'm still learning. Haven't been in it three weeks, maybe month. Hell, I don't know. Um, no, it was March 1st. Let's let's get that. So that tells you I'm still learning. As I'm learning, things that is done to me a couple of weeks ago. Let me just go ahead and get into it because I don't give a fuck. I'm, I'm doing a loan. I'm new. I do loans. I'm a loan specialist. I, I work long with money, okay? People's social security numbers, money, that type of thing. So when you don't book the loan and the customer calls in to book, it can be taken from you and you take 70% and the person that booked the loan takes 30%. Cool. I'm good. But if they call in, we have a one touch, one touch. So you're not transferring the customers and they're ready to book. You go ahead and take it. And the person that is assigned to it gets 70% and you who book it gets 30%. Cool. You will understand what I'm saying. So me being new, I did all the work couple of weeks ago and three or four was taken from me i asked the question this is how it's done so i said nothing i sat my ass back down and said nothing all right let's talk about the day customer calls in it was somebody else's um in another center her that person's application ready to book you hear me ready to book one call resolution I'm talking to the customer, verified, got everything done, getting him to log in so I can book him. Customer gets silent for some reason. I'm like, well, why? I now I want y'all to know I worked for Verizon Wireless like 14 years, so I knew he had put me on hold. So he came back over and he said to me, hey, the rep that I'm assigned to, um, she just called me and she told me to let you know that she got it from here which is not how that works, right? Because it was done to me and there was nothing I didn't know. So my thing is, if you're going to do it for everybody, do it for everybody. So this particular rep or agent is at the top, okay? She was one of the top sellers, right? Cool. She books a lot of loans. But a couple of weeks ago when it was done to me, and it was told to me, hey, your customer's ready to book, but they called in, so it's nothing we could do. So the same thing, I took the call, the customer called in, ready to book, so I'm getting ready to book them. And then another agent reaches out to the customer and tells the customer, you're not even supposed to do that, that um, to click back over and let me know she got it. So I go to my supervisor and I say, supervisor, this just happened to me. And she looked at me like I was a total idiot, which really pissed me off. And I said, hold on now, because if it goes for one, it better go for all. I'm that type. I said, now, this was what happened to me last week where three or four of my loans were booked because the customer called in ready to book. You told me that's how it, do, how it is. But when it's done to me. It's done to me because I'm not at the top. It's nothing done, but you just looked at me and humped your shoulders like, and then tells, tell me, um, was it hers? It was mine last a couple of weeks ago, and you didn't do that. Nothing like, see, let me tell you about this, this Libra right here. Let me tell y'all about me. If you tip my Libra scales, I told, I came outside. Uh, I had to leave. I'm on lunch. I came on outside. And I said to me, I, I, one, some other people see me. 
I was talking to somebody that I know and I was like, you know, I don't work for companies that integrity is at who I am. If you're going to have a line for one person, you better have a line for the rest of them. Then next thing I know, another guy comes up who his, I ain't going to say his name on here, but he is one of the higher ups. And one of the um, agents told me he coming. I said, I don't give a fuck. Like, I don't understand what these people think. You don't put your pants on any different than me. I'm a God just like you are. I don't give a damn. He came up. He said, what's going on? Because at this point, me, the Libra that I am, when I get hot tempered and hot headed, my gasket blow. You're going to see tears from my, from my eyes. It's not because I'm hurt. It's because I don't want to hurt you. Do you understand? So I'm out there wigging out. Not wigging out, but I'm talking about integrity. And I told him in his face, I'm a college educated person. I can find me another job at this point. So if y'all going to let these people, three or four people that are always the top sellers in the company, because they do this and do that. If you're going to let them run this company, let them for a book all them loans. How about that? Because this weekend, I, let me tell you, I will be, I, and you know, I'm trying my best to stay here because I want to open my own store. Now, I have my online business. Yes, I do. And it, it grows and it is very well, people always, always buying something, purchasing from me. But me being the person that I am, I'm just the type that I, I need to be my own boss. And at the end of the day, I'm going to have employees that I'm going to treat right. I'm not a one-sided person. Integrity is big for me. How you handle me is big for me. And it it's just is what it is. If I left a 14-year career with one company and it didn't give a fuck about the coin, I will make a good money. Okay, good. 70, 80,000 a year, you know, and I left that. This right here is a drop in the bucket. I took a pay cut to come here. Because, and now I don't work for companies that allow stuff like that. It's one sided. And because I don't bring it in, I can't yet because I don't know the job yet. It's not fair. And it's, it's, it's like, you're not going to do me like that. I done taught less and y'all, and that's e anything in life. From a job, to a motherfucking person, to a place, a thing, a habit. I don't give a damn. What I'm not going to allow in my life is nobody to take too much control and use me and abuse me. Have me coming in like I'm a motherfucking secretary. Huh? No, ma'am. It's too many jobs I hear y'all. Do not do it. Do not. Because what you will allow is what will continue. And I will not. I will not. Y'all gonna set it off in this bitch. Literally. Set it off. Playing with me. Y'all not gonna be playing with me. No ma'am. Mm -mm. Y'all I had to come talk to my friends. And let y'all know how my day going. I'm so glad today is Friday. Because I need a break. At this point. I think I'm gonna be um trying to get me a business loan that's what i was not going to do i wanted to save the money and like i always said in 2022 i'm going to open my own business and y'all i'm getting to work y'all please please support me if you're a spiritual being visionsbiblestory.com support me i i can't and it's soon the end of this year is real soon. Y'all be blessed.